Hey there, crafty peeps. It's Rhonda from Rhonda World 365. I'm back with another uh, journal to show you. Uh, this one is for a private swap that I did with Rosemary. Uh, we had done that friendship journal one and we were having fun with that. So we had decided that we were going to go ahead and do a fairies journal. So this is mostly fairies, but then there is um, also other magical creatures such as uh, unicorns, gnomes, um, mermaids, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, with an emphasis on fairies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip through it for you. So this is kind of a chunker. We decided to do soft cover. Um, I think we said eight and a half, eight and a half by five or yeah, five by eight and a half or uh, six by nine, something like that. Uh, we were just looking for, uh, you know, somewhere in that vicinity size. Um, and then just like I said, fairies and other magical creatures. So I have chosen the um, pixie dust, or excuse me, fairy dust uh, collection for the paper collection. Um, that's not the only thing that you'll see in here, but there is uh, quite a bit of that. Uh, I just got some of those and I was really having a lot of fun with it. So the cover is uh, this, this image, this fairy dust image. Um, and it's got that girl and her little uh, lilies of the valley. And then down here, the words, Oh, have you seen the fairies dance upon the summer's night? And watch the gnomes and pixies prance when e'er the moon is bright. So uh, that's the front cover. And as you can see, like I said, it's a chunker. So she doesn't want it all chunky like that then she can go ahead and uh, remove some of it. I'll show you. It's two signet or yeah, two signatures, sorry. And um, I think, let's see, we did seven pages. So it's 20, so f somewhere in the neighborhood of like, let's see, 28, 28, 40, 56 pages-ish, maybe a few more, uh, because I did add some half pages in here and such like that. So um, there's a whole bunch of this, uh, you know, for for good measure. Now on this side here, the ba the spine of it, you'll see that it is um, this beadwork, and then there's this um, satin strip down, and um, it just it, it's uh, oh there's a fuzzy, sorry, and that covers the spine. It covers the stitching. That's all that's for really. And then here I was able to find this really cute charm. It's got some stars, the moon, and then I had um, filled this little vial here with, uh, with purple glitter. And it says um, fairy magic on here, but it's, it, um, I did get these clear printables to print onto sticker paper. And um, so it's hard to see while we're at the video here. Uh, but anyway, that is the spine. And then it also just clasps on, so if she doesn't like that charm, she can go ahead and pull it off. Uh, here at the base, there's I did this tree design, tree drawing and stuff, because I found these buttons. And um, it's a gnome door, or a fairy door. And I put it at the base of a tree. And up here, that fairy dust, just because I really liked that. Um, so I like to have that little image there. And then down here, right beside the door, this little, um, this little sign here says, uh, fairies welcome. And then over here, there's just a, like a little, uh, toadstool, a pink toadstool. I thought was cute. And, uh, it kind of just, um, I mod podged everything. Um, and of course this here, my soft journal is a, um, soft envelope and I've, I've distressed it, uh, stained it, and then went ahead and um, went through it and, uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> well, I mod podged over it so that it's all sealed. And let's go inside. So the clasp here, or the, the closure here is ribbon. And like I said, it's popping open because it is a chunker. 
and I hope she likes it, but if she wants to take any of that out, by all means, that'll be up to her, you know, at her discretion. So the front co of the cover here, uh, pattern paper, turned it into a pocket. And then this is kind of unique. I just got this, and I thought it was so cute. It's um, It was a Tim Holtz die, and it cut slats, and I turned those into pockets. And then the back, I went ahead and... Um, you can't really tell that's kind of a yellowy color on the back and um, so there is journaling room but I'll show you the pockets here we can pull these out and I made this mini tag and a little mini mason jar then this is from uh, the fairy uh, dust paper supply and it says believe in magic I made this uh, ticket here these tickets and uh, they're for journaling so journaling space there this is like from a Tim Holtz supply it's just one of those little tags I went around the edge and inked it and uh, and it looks like it might be a like some sort of purchase ticket or purchase agreement ticket or something like that and then these two are also from the uh, fairy dust collection they're the, the fairy stamps sorry and uh, it's two and number four so they all tuck in just like that it makes pockets and I just thought they looked kind of cute like that a little bit of fun a little bit of uh, of design and um, they can go in in any order whatever um, I just I just wanted to add a little bit of miniature fun because of course fairies are tiny and then here is the card that I've written to her and it just says um, remember this and then I've written her a little note uh, so that it tells her about you know where the swap came from what's going on with it okay so the first signature is mostly fairies and gnomes I kind of categorize it signature one is fairies and gnomes signature two is mermaids and unicorns so this here this butterfly is actually a um, paper butterfly but I went ahead and put glossy accents on it so it gives it like a, a soft popped feel and as long as you go with your glossy accents you put a dot in the center and, and then you can either take keep your nozzle in the dot and circle it around and it'll start spreading and you can you can add more when needed um, and that'll keep it from getting bubbles the other way that you can do it is um, what I do is I put quite a bit on the centers and kind of move them out to the to the wings and then I'll take I have a pin that I take and I go down in and I just circle it out and um, it'll make that and then you let it dry and you've got your little 3d butterfly and this here this writing says I'm pretty sure that with sparkly shoes and a new tiara she could conquer the world over here I've created a uh, a tuck slot with a paper clip these are it's a little fairy and um, it was originally a cake a cupcake topper that I purchased on wish uh, but I turned them into these uh, embellished paper clips and so this side is holding a little flip up journaling card and I'll slide that right back in there and then um, a gold tab flip it over okay so this side there's the rest of the, the fairy again this is it says invitation it's got a little pixie sitting on it and you can journal on the back so journaling card make a wish that's from the uh, the fairy dust or, or yeah fairy dust collection so um, I did use quite a bit of that I just got it I really wanted to use it um, now down here, this little girl, I found her, I found the image on, um, and I uh, fussy cut her out, and um, this is one of those Tim Holtz flowers, and I kind of made a little tuck spot here, and that's a little fairy stamp. Um, and this paper here, I've kind of inked the edges of it, uh, but it is a, um, it's, it's a homemade paper, it's got flowers in it, um, it just seemed kind of like appropriate for the, for the book. So I do have a Martha Stewart punch here for this page 
and I've stamped a little gnome door and this here is a little blue mushroom and then that's a little hedgehog. I got this um, really cute confetti and it's thicker confetti and there's just all kinds of cute little things in it, the mushrooms and such. And then there's this gnome guy here and uh, he's a stamp that I have in a die so I cut him out, I stamped him and I colored him and it says live, laugh, love. Another gold tab. There are gold tabs throughout here. I was just really liking that look. This page here, there's tons of journaling room back there. Then I added this sheet here, inked. It's just extra paper, pattern paper, really pretty with the gold stars. And then there's this fairy silhouette, and she's a die, and I, uh, she can have a little thing tucked behind her. Um, so if there was anything, here, let me see what I've got. I'm sure there's like a million things in this book that I could probably tuck something back behind her. Here we go. So she can have something tucked right in there. Um, or not, or nothing. It doesn't matter. Um, but she also opens up, and there's little fairy, a little uh, mushroom down here. Up here it says, life is full of magic. And then the last one is that little snail. So that's all journaling space. It was uh, extra paper, and I just I just made a little fold out there. That was just fun. There's a candy bag here, and in it is this uh, tag, open tag. And so you can journal in that. And uh, candy bags make their own unique two-pocket thing. So I went ahead and put two different things in here so that there's uh, two tuck spots. So on this page, I created a top tuck spot, and uh, it folds down, and you can journal on that. It says Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust, and then we fold that back up, and behind it, it says Fairy Plants, Clovers, Fields of Clovers Attract Fairies. A four-leaf clover can protect one against, against the fairy, and it is also able to break spells. Clover... Uh, Excuse me, clover ornament, excuse me, clover ointment gives one the power to see invisible fairies. So if you ever want to see a fairy, apparently you need clover ointment. I will be remembering that. There was one time when I was about 11, we went up to Minnesota, uh, Walker, Minnesota is where my aunt used to live, and uh, they owned a farm. And I was there, and I... Um, I was there for a week and I was bored out of my mind because they didn't have any um, television. So I went outside and um, my grandma suggested that I go pick four leaf clovers or find four leaf clovers. I found 64. We pressed them into wax paper. It was really awesome. Uh, I don't know what happened to them, but they were just amazing. So this is another piece of extra paper and I went ahead and put washi tape on the front of that just to give it a little effect. And uh, so it wasn't so plain. And then down here, until you spread your wings, you have no idea how far you'll fly. And the stamped embellishment. This side here, whoops, what did I do? I, okay. All right, so this side here is um, a bottom tuck, and there's little fairies dancing. And then inside that, there's three different things. There's this tag here. And then these two little tags, so that's a little tuck spot. There's plenty of room for journaling behind. And like I said, I did use quite a bit of this fairy, du uh, fairy dust paper. Uh, so you'll see quite a bit of that. That little mason jar is a punch I have, but I really love it. So I bought these little... Um, I'm going to move this up. I just moved the paper. I'm trying to just move the journal. So I bought this um, this little uh oh I dropped one. Uh, it was it's a butterfly. Um, it was a sticker. I turned it into a embellished paper clip, and uh, that's another fairy dust. And then this one is a open tag for journaling. And this page here is one of those half pages that I was telling you about. So it's just a little half page. And I put all you need is faith, trust, and a sprinkle of pixie dust again. And then um, on those, you can't hardly see it uh, because of, of the way that the light is, but I did 
uh, go around the edging of each of those, uh, what do you call those, the, each of those flowers just to give it a little extra sparkle. Let's go ahead and tuck these back in, flip it over, and on the back, uh, this one says, fairies are invisible and inaudible like angels, but their magic sparkles in nature. And then here is a another one of those uh, tags, open tag, plenty of journaling space down behind. Tag this back in. Okay, this page here says, happy magical day. And I've stamped uh, this mushroom stamp down there. It looks really cute to me. This is a picture of a fairy, and she's kind of dancing. It says, dream big dreams. Little dreams have no magic. And I have some washi tape up here. Another stamp. And down here, uh, this paper was already patterned paper with a floral. Um, I did quick, or excuse me, fussy cut out uh, these gnomes that are talking to this cute little squirrel here and um, so I put that down um, there because I just I really like the way that looked. Back here is a little fairy stamp that I have. It's a little girl. She's sweet and all around her this is a washi tapes. Um, it's a washi tape that I got off of Wish and it's individual little um, hydrangea flowers and I just really liked uh, like those I want to use them and then um, so I came up with this page and I think it works pretty well Then over here I made a pocket and it says come fairies take me out of this world For I would ride with you upon the wind and dance upon the mountains like a flame and um, It's uh, Yates so then I put I put these pearls all around um, I mounted it put the pearls around it. There's a little fairy over here and then the front pocket has this little fairy card in it and it's got a little crown stamped on the back so a lot of these have little fun things stamped on the back um, and as you can see here I added washi tape right there to the edge just so that there was a little bit of a nice flat edge this is a long tag a little fairy tucked in between um, because we need to add some sparkle and magic. You never know. Hidden little hidden pieces of magic are always fun to find. This one says believe in magic. And there's a little fairy stamp down there. She's hanging out. You could tuck something in there as well. And uh, I don't have anything really good right now. So I'll just uh, show you real quick. So that right there. You can fold it through and use it as a miniature belly band of some kind. Inside these, um, I did do these layering flowers. I made the layering flowers. Um, it's, so it's like a fabric paper flower. And then, so here there's a little fairy and she's she's uh, underneath the lilies of the valley and it looks like she's kind of catching some water. You could journal on her. I did ink the back and it's got the little um, key. Tuck that back in there. And then over here, We've got um, one of those little cards. It says, have uh, room in your garden for the fairies to dance. And I always thought that would be just so cute. So here I've got a little bit of a, it's a card, um, a journaling card. It's kind of got this magic bubbles and I just liked it. And a little crown stamped on the back and that tucks up under here. This is the center of the signature. And I've got the fairies dancing, and I went around it with like a um, with a metallic gold washi tape, and I created this tuck spot in here, and I've got a bunch of things in there. So there's believe in magic. There's this tag here. This is um, again, it's the homemade paper. Now I didn't make this, but I did buy a pack of it, um, and then I tucked in this extra little envelope, and inside the envelope. Um, I made the envelope. Inside the envelope is take note, and it says delight, and then the back has a little snail on it. And then there is another little fairy. It's a fairy die cut, but if somebody wanted to, I inked the back, and it's on patterned paper. If somebody wanted to, they could journal on it. And some little tickets. 
for journaling. So all of that is tucked into this little page, uh, this little envelope here, just because we need some surprises, like I said. And the envelope just closes like that. It all goes right back into this little, uh, this little pocket here that I created. Um, it's a nifty way to hide the, um, the stitching. So. And then this is the back of the book. I, um, I had this little um, plastic butterfly piece. And I, um, because I've already put these, um, what do you call those, the brads on here, I just, I punched a hole in the butterfly. I, I uh, attached it to the brad. And, um, and then it created a, this little tuck spot. So I have a tuck spot. And that one has a has a butterfly on it. Originally, I stamped something there, but I messed it up, so I stuck a sticker on it. Uh, like I always say, um, any kind of uh, error is oh, Khaleesi has decided to come and join us. She's on the table right now. Uh, but any kind of error is always room for uh, creativity. So this is where that fairy belongs. Um, I think I knocked her off when I was bumbling around on this stuff so I'll go ahead and, and put her back on uh, but anyway so she is uh, another one of those uh, paper clips on a gold paper clip embellished fairy I've created another of these envelopes inside this one it's gnomes and it's all this information about these little forest gnomes and the back is ready for journaling and then another one of those fairy dust cards and then um, some more tags and I was really liking the tags so that's all in here tuck that in and I created this envelope out of that fairy uh, fairy dust paper as well and if you look down here I've got a little uh, boy fairy jumping about and dancing and then up here it says what you believe in becomes true believe in something absurd and uh i just thought that was most appropriate because if you believe in fairies if that's really true and then obviously fairies would exist then right so this down here i created uh this little guy i cut him out fussy cut him out and this is a die uh stamp that i had and um, I'm going to try and raise it up so you can see it a little bit better. But um, I added that confetti. There's an owl part to it. There's an acorn and a little blue mushroom. Um, so that's the confetti that I was talking about. And I colored that stamp in. And I kept it as a little tiny tuck spot. And so this one, it says, uh, may all your wishes come true. And there's journaling space on it. It's one of those um, fairy dust cards. And then here is one another one of the tags. You open it up, there's a butterfly stamped inside. And then over here, this is um, another one of my um, dies and stamps that I have. So I colored her, and she's got a lot of gold, and, and she's got um, her wings are all sparkly. And then down here it says, hope your day is full of sparkle. And then this is so happy, stretching... Uh, sorry, catching sunbeams. Hey, stop that. Khaleesi's being naughty. She's she's a brat. If I'm not paying attention to her, she's not having nothing to do with it. This is Smile Often, and it's a card. And then there's a little tiny envelope. There's nothing in it. She can put whatever she wants in it. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck these right down behind the, um, our little fairy. And there we go. And it flips again, and there's I created this upper tuck spot, and uh, it says, "Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen." And I really just love that saying. It's just very uplifting, upbeat. So that's that uh, patterned paper that created a uh, a tag. As I told you before, I do like to. Um, I like to create tags out of my um, out of my leftover paper. So that's what you'll see. Fairy um, stamp with journaling space. This one here is another one of those fairy dies. And um, I have three little mason jars all punched in that fairy dust paper. And they tuck right in under her. 
like so. And then this little girl, she's uh, the whole, she holds the little envelope closed. She's my class. And inside the envelope is a couple of tags and a journaling card um, just tucked away in there. Go ahead and tuck that back up in there. And then right behind the envelope, the envelope lifts up. So right behind the envelope says sparkle and shine. And then here is the rest of that half page. It's the, I stamped a gnome. I did put a little gold tab on that because I thought that would be cute. And then over here, I, I fussy cut another little gnome guy out, glued him on. This one is uh, stationary paper, and I've got these little fairies uh, stamped to that. There's three pages there, and it is uh, sealed down onto the page. And then here, this is a little fairy, and you lift up, and there's plenty of space for journaling sealed on. This back spot is a belly band, and there's a little mushroom uh, embellished paper clip there that I have holding this little tiny uh, scrap. And then there's tags, the moon, one of those papers, um, and then this tag opens up like so with a fairy at the top. So all of those uh, are tucked into the back of this uh, belly band there. And then here's the end of that bag. Um, so there's a space to tuck something right here if you wanted to tuck something behind her from the back of the bag. I slit the back of the bag and it created a tiny tuck spot, which I put this one in. It says, follow your dreams. And um, she's a stamp. She's the other stamp I have that goes with that set. And then this tag goes behind it in the deeper portion. It's got a little kiss on it, maybe a fairy kiss. And then it says, hope your day is full of sparkle. And there's a little girl here and she's looking, she's looking down. She's really pretty. Um, she's got a little rainbow behind her and she's sitting on a magical swing with flowers. And uh, she's looking down, it just looks so pretty. So I just love that. Then there's this little girl, and she's riding on her butterfly. And I use the gold uh, mirror paper to create a, a side tuck. A fairy. And then this is a uh, open tag. And those are both tucked right in behind there. Over here, a little fairy on the envelope. The envelope has this card tag sliding in. And you can just journal on that. And it says, in the corner down here, it says, magic is all around us. You just need to know where to look. And the back page of this first signature, it has um, this flower. Oops, I folded the edge of that flower. I do apologize. And I, this is a little um, punched out uh, dragonfly with a pearl on it. And the flower has its own little stickles on it. And that's all journaling space there. A die cut fairy and uh, magical things is the card. So that's a little tuck spot also. Okay, so this little girl, I don't know why there's nothing here. So let me find her something real quick because I've got gobs of it. So why on earth would I not have something? All right, there we go. All right, so. She is, uh, she's a tuck spot all on her own. So you can tuck it at the top, you tuck it to the side. So she's a little tuck spot. She's a mermaid that I have a punch for, a, a die for, and a, uh, and a stamp. So I stamped her out and colored her up. This little uh, envelope here is, I made this um, envelope. We have a die for the envelope. And, um, and then I just put this little, this little paper in the envelope for journaling, of course, and it's a embellished paper clip. And um, on this side of the paper clip, so this side's journaling page, it says, swim with passion in the sea of life. And I've got the two little CN dollars, and this tag opens up, says, hello, sunshine. Put this here. Back here, there's a, a, a tag for journaling, it says, believe in magic. Born to swim. This says born to swim. And then up here, this is a mason jar and tickets. And you open that up. 
And you can journal on it. It's got little stamps. I'm going to try and go a little faster because we're whew, reaching a long point here. This tag opens up like this for journaling. Tucks right into the back portion of the pocket here. And I stamp bubbles in the little uh, scallops. You always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid. Then always be a mermaid. Gotta love that. Little mermaid paper. And this one's a large journaling card. Stamped on the back. All inked and stamped. There's washi tape down at the bottom. Ride a unicorn, swim with mermaids, and chase a rainbow. And there's a unicorn right there. And then flip to this page. And I've stamped a little uh, a little mermaid. And she is stamped in this kind of glitter ink. So she's kind of cute. Mermaid kisses and starfish wishes. This mermaid here, she is also, I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like the book is stealing my stuff. Either that or I've been re I was rearranging and not paying attention to what I was doing. Let me locate here because she has a uh, another little tag. Well, anyway, that's a tuck spot, or she could have a tag rather. That's a little tuck spot here. So if I wanted to, you could tuck something down in behind her, something smaller, whatever you want. Um, so that's what she's good for. I'm going to flip that back. Okay, and then here we've created another tuck spot with a journaling card, and it's stamped like that. And then up here, I've got, this is one of those buttons again, and it she's a, uh, she's a mermaid button, so I... I popped the back off of her and I, I went ahead and attached her to a, a paper clip so I made another embellished paper clip. Down here this is a this is fussy cut. It's a mermaid that was coming up to play um, looks like with the fairy castle. Um, so it says no dreamer is ever too small, no dream ever too big. And behind that I put this journaling card and I stamped that uh, little sand dollar. And then um, this card, inside stamp, laugh more. Okay, so back here, and then I put the star on the, on the bottom of her to hide the glue dot. Keep calm and believe in unicorns. This folds open, you can journal on it, and tucked behind it is are these two things. It's stationary, so it's like four pages, I think, four or five, four or five pages of stationary. And um, they're locked together with the, with the, um, what do you call those, brads. And um, they just slide right back up in there. Um, and then this one is kind of a little unique. It's two different journaling cards, but um, I really liked that they made this cute little pocket when I put them together. So it says, you are one of a kind. And it's actually a valentine. I just really liked the valentine. So... Um, I created it like that, so it's a little pocket just shoved in there. You are magical. Flip. Dare to dream and dream big. In gold, and it's a pocket. Actually, it's a side, excuse me, a tuck. Unicorn card for journaling. And then this long space is a unicorn uh, journaling card as well, so it's a long tab. And then this one's just a journaling card. The center of the, of the, um, center of the, oh, bugger, uh, sorry. The center of the, uh, signature. And then inside that one, I put this large tag and I stamped that mermaid. That's a Jane Davenport stamp. I really like that. Mostly because my maiden name is Davenport. <laughs> Fun in the sun. Belly band with the Little Mermaid stamp there. And I added, there's a tag here with a flourish. And then I also added this, uh, it's a little uh, cutout, like a die cutout. Um, and it's got stickles on it. And I just thought that was really cute to have there. And then this is, um, it's a little paper clip. It's a, it's a clamshell paper clip. Fantastic journaling card. Slides it right back up in there. And she, uh, Rosemary gave me the Rosemary gave me these in our last swap, and I included a couple. 
it says hello you and I put them together so it's a little a little working page thing this is what I was talking about when I said um, part of the goodies that I had received from Joyce um, I make uh, what do you call these shakers and um, out of the frames I like to make them let me see if I can get it to move here we'll pull these out and um, so I make shakers here we go out of these frames and um, I make them into pockets so it just kind of looks kind of neat so this envelope or excuse me envelope this tag goes right into that pocket it says let's fly away and then tickets that go into that pocket as well and they tuck right in behind the shaker and then inside it it says tans fade but memories are forever so and I had attached that in there this one says believe you have uh, believe you can and you are halfway there and it's got the unicorn and you can flip it up and there's plenty of journaling space behind and then this side this mermaid here she's also a little tuck spot you could tuck something down behind her I fussy cut her out put her on the page and then I liked this little guy here and I don't know if you can see it but I used a sparkle marker to give that one a little bit of, of glamour and it's that seashell glamour and a card tucks right behind it then this one says use your imagination it's a tag you are better than unicorns and sparkly combined. And that is on another embellished paper clip. And the embellished paper clip is just, um, it's a really tiny little uh, dragonfly. And um, so this would detach and you can journal on that. Journaling space behind, a little unicorn stamped at the bottom. Flip that up. Okay, so this is, a, um, I glued down, uh, what do you call this um, sticky notes and I went ahead and uh, did that so there's sticky notes on there and this tag here opens up for journaling and it's held in by that uh, clip more uh, this is kool-aid dye pattern paper and there's this uh, little pocket here it says I put sparkly on that and another one of those uh, little what do you call those? Uh, Valentine cards that I got. It's a unicorn. The seashell I turned into kind of a tuck. And behind it, if you wanted to, you can, you can always journal down on that page. Tag with, a, with an embellishment. Tucks right behind it. And then, sorry, flip that up. For the back page here, belly band with a little, uh, the back page has uh, the unicorn on it and behind that is some extra paper for journaling tucked right in. Another tag at the bottom and then this page is a journaling page. The back side is a belly band that says laugh, love, swim with a on pattern paper with a tag, happy little moment tucks right in there and the very back of the journal has this uh, same tuck spot same pattern paper and I put this large tag there for uh, finishing journaling so that is Rosemary's uh, new journal so um, I will I'll show you hers as soon as I receive hers in the mail so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like the journal uh, Tune in next time, and in, uh, for now, keep on crafting. Have a great night. Bye.